So the plots for today include running to two different craft stores to go buy the yarn that I need for this crochet along Christmas blanket. Gotta strap in the boot first. This is atrocious. This is disgusting. And you know what the crazy thing is? It looks worse on camera than it does like actually IRL. So I don't know. I gotta buy nine skeins of yarn today. I literally don't have my tripod. I don't know where it is. Um, We're in the loud car today, Julian's car. Did I tell you guys he got a new car? I feel like I did. Anyways, Julian's new car, woo, yeah. He doesn't want to take me to both craft stores, but we're gonna go to both because I can't get everything that I need from Hobby Lobby because I'm using Michael's and Hobby Lobby yarn, so, you know. First up is Michael's. Um, I got like, what, five skeins from there. I got the bright red, two of these whites, and it smells like the Michael's too. When you open the bag, it's crazy. And then I got the mint. It's literally called the mint, I think. I don't know why they changed where the, it says the color. Yeah, this one's mint. We got the cranberry color. These are just darker than the other red. And then I got another one of the toffee because apparently I needed two of these and they didn't have, what's the color? Yeah, this one was out of stock. So I only have one for now, which means we have to go back eventually for the other one. I have to catch up. They sent out, what, the third part of the pattern today? So now um, I'm extra behind. You think I can make it, Julian? You think I can catch up? Oh, right, 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 right. This is my progress after working in the dark the other night or yesterday. Um, we're getting there. Yeah, also, I forgot to mention, <laughs> what is it called? This pattern is in UK terms, so I have to convert everything in my head while I'm reading the pattern and watching the video. I'm almost done with this part, and then we're gonna start, like, going around the border of this to make it bigger, and then we're gonna introduce the green and the red, and then I think that's it for week one. So I'm not too behind. This is the worst lighting in the world, and I'll show you tomorrow like in better lighting but i need to stretch out these stitches Event eventually it's just gonna happen so it's fine but week one done now i gotta do week two i my hands are hurting though so i'm gonna start in like 20 minutes. Cannot get the lighting right in here at all. I think I'm gonna have to turn on the overhead. It's dark in here always. Hang on, this is gonna take a minute. Um, update on my leg. It's not as bad anymore. I put the boot on, it's been helping me like walk and now I can walk semi without the walker. I'm still gonna use the walker. That's what like the phone's on right now. Obviously, just in case, but okay, whatever. Like I said, I'm at my mom's house. It's Halloween. I think I'm gonna be a minion. This is the stripe that I was working on last night. And then I started falling asleep while I was crocheting, so um, I went to sleep. Sort of a better look at this. The color of this is coming out like way more burgundy in the camera and in this horrible, horrible lighting. Um, and this is obviously like pulling way more blue, darker. Like all these colors are just pulling darker in this lighting, but this is kind of like a cranberry red instead of like a maroon, if that makes sense. It's red, but it's not maroon, cranberry. That's literally what the color's called. And then this is mint by uh, Michaels. This is white by Michaels. And then I think this one's latte by Hobby Lobby. Just in case you like are seeing my blanket and you also wanna uh, to the same color scheme. I literally ran to two different stores because uh, I'm not a fan of the Hobby Lobby white. It kind of isn't spun the best. Like some of the colors aren't spun to the same level of thickness as other colors. So I don't even bother buying it from like 
Hobby Lobby, I'll buy it from Michaels instead. Uh, and white is one of those colors. And sometimes black. Sometimes black is hit or miss. And then this is blush from Michaels. And then this is forest, the green. This is forest from Hobby Lobby. Obviously, it's the um, Loops and Threads Value yarn when I'm saying Michaels. And then the I Love This Yarn acrylic from Hobby Lobby when I'm mentioning, you know. But that's that part. And now I have to introduce, like, mint to keep this going. This is, strand is going to be, like, pretty big. But um, I'm trying to go buy Halloween candy for the kitties. Um, yeah, that's my update on my blanket. There's like a bunch of flies everywhere. Oh my goodness. Okay, I want to go shower. Yesterday was Halloween, but I left my car here last night because I didn't want to drive home because I had to carry a bunch of stuff home. I came back to pick up my car, but I've kind of been here all day <laughs> and I finished up my one section of the blanket. It came out super cool. Like, well, I showed you guys the clip that I was talking about, but I just finished up this section. These are little bobble stitches. Can you see? Yeah, the little bobble stitches, but this is like one other section of the panel. If you guys have a picture of the pattern, you know what I'm talking about, but if not, you know, it's the little tops, the bottom section. And I'm starting the second panel right now. I'm starting to see why they said that this is like a week long thing because this took me since a couple days ago, I started it. And I barely finished it right now. And I've been at it like all day. This is, I don't know why it's taking me so long. I'm just very distracted watching TV while I'm doing this. Got bored of Grey's Anatomy. So I'm watching Santa Clarita Diet. But now I'm bored of that too. Had to find something else to watch. But I don't know. Also, I'm like incredibly sleepy. Because like I said, I had horrible sleep. It's like 5.36. But I don't want to go back because... It's just weird being there when Julian's not there. But I have one more. Uh, I, I have to make another one of these. You have to make two of these. And then there's like another two that you have to make. But those two are in a different color sequence. So, you know, hopefully this goes by a little faster. So that I can start the other color sequence. So that you guys can see. I went ahead and I marked my little yarns uh, because the pattern, when you're reading it, or, okay, so there's videos to the pattern, but there's also, like, sections of the video where it tells you to go look at the pattern and follow the steps of the pattern for, like, a certain amount of rows. And it just gets a little confusing because my colors aren't the same colors that they're using. And they're calling them different things. So I just went ahead and like labeled them yarn E and then the color that they're using, this is not the same yarn. I'm just relabeling them so that it makes sense. Also, did I say that the pattern is like in UK terms? Because it is. It's in UK terms. Not confusing anymore. I kind of sort of got used to it, but every once in a while when the pattern says uh, double crochet, I'll do the double crochet. And then I'll pause right after I do it. And I'm like, oh, wait, they meant U.S. single. So it's that's not why it's taking forever. It's taking forever because I'm like, I don't know. I'm sewing in the where, um, where I have to cut off the yarn and attach new ones like as I'm going to. So that's kind of slowing me down a little bit. But I am very much liking these colors together. They're, some of them are a little bit more vibrant and some of them are a little more dark than the ones that the original pattern is. But I think that they 
I like this a lot. And this whole section of the pattern is called like jumper because it's supposed to like represent like Christmas sweaters and stuff. But honestly, this would make a killer Christmas sweater like maybe. Um, I'm very excited for Christmas. I can officially go all the way out. I used to be one of those people that was so, so, so obsessed with Halloween. And I was like, oh my God, why is there Christmas stuff already out? Like, it's not even Halloween yet. Halloween's not for another month or whatever. And now I'm like, oh my God, thank goodness that Halloween is over. Because I want Christmas. And I used to complain too that I was like, can we at least wait for Thanksgiving to pass? And then we could be on Christmas mode. And now I'm like, shut up. It's Christmas time. I think I started liking Christmas a lot more because Julian's birthday is December 24th. He's also a Capricorn. I love Capricorns. So now it's like a double exciting thingy because I love people's birthdays. Just buy him like two sets of presents on his birthday and then Christmas. Cause you know, when you're a holiday baby, people don't care about your birthday, but I make sure that man has a great day. Still haven't used up a full skein of any of the yarns. But it's going to happen. It's going to happen. We're getting sort of... Never mind. I'm a liar. Um, This emerald color is going to be the first to go, though. I have a feeling. Maybe. Or maybe one of these reds. I don't know. Because I bought three whites. And if I don't use all three whites, I'm going to be a little upset. Um, I can drive myself to the craft stores now. So that's not an issue. I really, really thought that I was going to be like in pain, not being able to put pressure on my foot for at least another week or and a half. But I'm fine. I can walk around with the boot. I'm not. But I can. So I'm, it's in another week, I'll be like perfect, you know. Um, What else? I think that's it. So let, maybe, maybe let's do a crochet montage of me doing this. A little time lapse, if you will. Just freaking lights everywhere. Actually, that might help the tiniest bit. Maybe not. Hey! Um, it's today. We got we got about this much polyfill left from the previous five pound box. But I bought a new box. That's $35. It's almost 36 after taxes. Yeah, so that's us back a lot. Also, I bought Sunny Angels. So that's another like $43 I spent. But the Sunny Angels are to keychain. So like it's totally fine, you know? Unless there's Sunnies that I want, then nothing matters. Let's do update on the blanket. This is the second color wave panel. I only did one. I finished this yesterday. I gotta do another one. And then week two is done. And then... I can finally start on week three and I'm so, so behind because I know that week three is going to take freaking ever. That one's like candy cane stripe thingies and the color changes are going to absolutely kill me. Market prep. That's what we're here for. We're here for market prep. Made a little crocodile. The pattern, not good. Um, There was a lot of errors and I didn't feel like like making the tail any longer than this so I cut it short by maybe like seven rounds of just straight still going. I've had that pattern saved for months because I was like mm, one of these days one of these days I'll make it uh, when I have this color yarn and I made it and I don't know I might make another one just so that there's like two on the table so it doesn't look too weird but awful pattern it's not awful it's just confusing not well written stitches don't add up nothing adds up started working on snoopy we got another oopie in the lot i like to have one of these in stock 
at the markets because typically it'll sell and then if it doesn't sell it'll sell on etsy because everybody loves Ubi. um i love Ubi. he's great he's fantastic um yeah 10 out of 10 there's Ubi, and i thought i wouldn't have enough white to do Ubi, but it turns out i don't have any black yarn left so this is the last one for a minute this is like a different black this is um a, like a plush it's probably bernay but i did a little pink one and then that's when well actually i took a break from the Ubi, went to my mom's worked on the blanket came back at like nine did this and then did a little b around like 10 30. i have to do like little baby eyes because i'm out of the what is it the 10 these are eight it's gonna have to do okay planning on making more until i run out of yellow because i can't really do anything else with the yellow whatever so not a lot of plans today we're just market prepping sorry about the dogs they're not mine that's it i'm gonna go work now my cat's like low-key in the way <laughs> of the window so we're just gonna do this real quick it's like called you can literally see them right here ran out of yellow obviously um i might do some chickens and then this will be for like for the beaks but probably not i kind of want to do another snoopy just because but i don't know i don't know i don't know what kinds of yarns i have right now and i'm kind of like i don't know what patterns to do because i haven't like really been taking art walks seriously for the past month and obviously like i've had weeks off or whatever but you know um anyways made three of these little babies they look way bigger in the camera but if i back up they're super small for these in total they're going in the bucket right now i'm currently just using the uh what what was it the five pound box yeah of the blanket recap this is what we did week one this was week two we did this color stripe combination here's the second i haven't sewn in all of the ends because i lost my um 
needle, but I'll do that after this. But here are the second ones. As always, if you guys want to do this pattern, it's the Sadar 2024 Christmas blanket, crochet along. It's free. There's videos, tutorials that are posted as well to go along with it. It is in UK terms, but it's uh, the pattern itself will tell you like what the conversions are. So not too complicated. You get used to it as you go along. I think I bought, I already had some of the skeins and in total, I think you need 15 skeins. So yeah, if you guys want to also do this blanket, I'll leave like links down below and thank you for watching. Make sure that you subscribe and I'll catch you when I do week three and four of the blanket. Bye.